Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm your host Lord Fenton. In today's video we're going into San Francisco world. That's the big hero 6 world. Now you notice my ship it's not that great in looks. Does more damage but still we're going to San Francisco. Yes we are. And we're going to be uh, Beta Max and the big hero 6 gang and more. So let's get to it right now. Oh boy, Flying Heartless. However, we got um, Baymax. I think that's what he's called. Yeah, Baymax. He's pretty uh, good though. I mean, he's not bad at all. His super form is something left to be desired, but still, he's good. He's a hulking shield though, so that's great right there. He's no marshmallow, but still, that's pretty good. So far, the uh, Heartless are attacking the bridge of uh, San Francisco which is a combination of San Francisco and Tokyo one of my two favorite cities in the whole wide world which one day I want to visit both of them but still point being it's a good uh, combination of that and oh boy alright you see the sequence coming up we're gonna be uh, sliding on the uh, cars yes all you need to do is do the special button and uh, make sure you target it yeah cover attack and then keep on blasting the uh, turrets yeah, this is really easy though. Just gotta quickly slide to the car in any distance and just keep on firing. Now, if you have a very good uh, key blade, these things should go down quick. Or if you're like me, over level like crazy. Well, same thing, but much, much more devastating. So I'm gonna try to scan cover. And we're gonna keep on doing this until we actually do a uh, clear thing out. Yeah, it looks like coast is clear. We got the San Francisco Bridge is now safe and sound. And we should uh, party with the big hero six gang. Yeah, that's all that easy. Trust me. Oh boy. 
Another Iron Giant like Heartless uh, creature. Yes, this time he has a nasty axe. Yeah, watch out for that. And you can also counter. And if you have the uh, Keyblade from Pirates of the Caribbean, it's very devastating. Also, if you have this, this is pretty good too. You can also blast a chunk of his uh, health meter off. Yeah, we did good right there. So now what we're going to do is uh, use the uh, arrow spell. I say to say it, it sucks. I should have probably stuck with lightning. Or I should say thunder. Now here's the uh, Pirates Caribbean uh, Keyblade, which is when you really have it powered up. It's really good. I mean, I mean, I really love it personally. I mean, that's one of my uh, favorite uh, melee uh, focus uh, Keyblades. The uh, magic focus one is the uh, Tangle one. Yeah, we cannot uh, street fire him where we uh, fire him against the uh, corner and just beat him down senselessly. And now I'm just casting the arrow spell. Try to get rid of his uh, armor. You know, when that happens, try your best to uh, quickly get some damage in. And already the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Keyblade is doing its magic, which I love. Plus our uh, teammates are doing super abilities. Alright, so far so good. We're uh, taking it down down to the final meter and this should do it right here a few more key hits from your magic or yeah magic or even melee that is it right there so let's see what's going on
Well, we are in the Big Hero 6 headquarters. We got AR uh, goggles, looks like. So that's augmented reality, so that's good. So right now, let's see what's going on with the Moogles. Okay. More mithril stuff to bake. Uh, that's not bad at all. Hmm, that's pretty decent. Alright, no uh, photo missions yet. If I do get them, I'll try to do them. Yes, I'll try to do them. And I think everything looks alright. Let me make sure everything is fine before I do anything else. Alright, everything looks ready, good, and uh, set to uh, go. As soon as I'm done uh, checking out this shop, also any uh, thing else, I want to speak with the Big Hero 6 crew or attempt to. But first thing first is I'm going to make an impromptu save. And I'm going to explore uh, Big Hero 6 secret hideout. Which I think is uh, Hero's uh, garage or something? I don't know. It's a location though. We'll call it the Big Hero 6 uh, Secret Lair. So we're going to see here what's going on. Check everything out. We're going to talk to this uh, gal right here. Alright, she is a bit weird. Look like her powers is throw balls at people. There's uh, Baymax, which is really awesome though. Heals ya. He's your uh, med medic. Uh, this gal right here, I forgot her name, but she is very powerful. Now this one I know is Fred. Now quick fact. Uh, in a certain point in Big Hero 6 movie, they visit his uh, home. There's a Stan Lee cameo there. That's all I have to say. And this guy right here shoots lasers, I believe. Alright, there's a the lucky emblem right here. I'm going to attempt to take it. If I do miss it, then I'll um, take it another time. But I'll put this in the video with the timestamp so people won't uh, miss out on it. So, this one was really easy to find, though. This one was so obvious. Alright, so I'm going to try to take it in selfie mode. Yeah, I can't take it in selfie mode, unfortunately. Alright, I think I got it. If not, I'll come back to it later on. Yeah, I was using that as my uh, title covers, too. And other uh, goodies. See? That's a good picture right there. So, with everything set, we're going to talk to Hero. Um, he's going to give us a mission. So, we're going to watch this uh, cutscene up ahead and figure out what's going on. All right, trainees, uh, listen up. You're going to have to memorize this course later on, well, parts of it, because this is one of the uh, courses you got to gain for a trophy slash achievement. Aim rate can both 60k and 75k for B. So you just need to collect the rings. The circles are worth 100. Hexagons worth 250. Destroying foes are worth 500 points. And, and so far, I am doing absolutely uh, terrible. Yep, see, there's that 500 points just uh, smashing a whole bunch of enemies like that. Also, uh, if you uh, play uh, the uh, course B, this uh, ride right here is really uh, good. It could get you some, uh, some kills. Now, hop on the rails. I had a bit issues on the rails, but let me uh, give you all a 411. Your uh, special switches uh, rails, make sure you don't attack. Uh, blasters your... Uh, R2 button, it might be different on the uh, Xbox uh, One version, definitely PC if it ever comes to that. Uh, your super slide makes you go faster, and your jump, well, jumps uh, to get the higher uh, circles or hexagons, your choice. So, yeah, this one's not bad so far, it will take a bit of practice. You will do this again uh, after you've uh, beaten the uh, story uh, mode in this uh, world. Once you uh, do that, then what happens is, is um, you get a chance at these uh, courses. They're not bad at all to get. You get some uh, goodies out of it, so that's good. So we're just going to keep on doing it. Uh, dash at this point. Time your uh, uh, flight in the air, I should say. And then time your way down. Yes, after you've beaten this world, there will be a Flan mini game where you need to time your bounces. And then when you free fall like that, you need to time it towards the center of your body. 
more on that in a future video I will make. But for now, keep on following this path. So keep on following the path I'm following. A little bit daunting and confusing, but just keep on doing what I'm doing at this point. Or I say better. Now the balls here will get you a bunch of points if you uh, time everything right. All you need to do is just run over Emneys. Yes! You get a whole bunch of points just for doing that. See, you got a bunch of points for that. That's your uh, 500 there right there just for instantly uh, running over an Emney. Yeah, you get 100 for the rings, but then 500 for each Emney you run over with the ball. Now, your uh, time, though, if you're going to do the uh, trophy slash achievement one later on, this one's not bad. Consider this practice. And yes, also when you're in the field, look for balls or snowballs. To do this, you do uh, much more uh, damage at this point. Kind of like an instant kill. Uh, try ignore fighting enemies. You cannot fight while you're running up, unfortunately. But just keep on going at this point. There we go. We're almost done. Now we're at the uh, air dash part. We have to do your air dash mo move. That is R1 and then hit the uh, square on the PlayStation 4. It's going to be different on the uh, Xbox uh, One version. So... Uh, Keep that in mind. All you need to do is just do the uh, air dashing, I should say air step, but I call it air dash because you're uh, in the air dashing real quick to a destination. So we're almost done though. This is close to the uh, finish line right here. We're making decent time. I'll probably say absolutely uh, great time actually. Well, some people have it over under two minutes because they know what they're doing and have the high score. I Me, mean, not so much, but still, we're almost done. Jump up there. And then uh, aim for that. Once you do aim for that, that is it right there. Just do it once, and there you have it. We have officially finished the uh, training course, and we get to fly off at Bay Max. All right, real quick, we have gained the uh, uh, Stitch Summon. Not bad at all. I will try it sooner or later.
All right, we are good and ready to go. So we need to talk to Hero so we could defeat the Heartless with the Keyblade 3 plus the Big Hero 6 gang. Makes an awesome uh, team up. Yes, that is correct. I'm going to make an impromptu save before we uh, resume this uh, story. Yeah, there'll be certain points you'll definitely uh, save. So talk to Hero right here and he's going to give us our uh, next mission. Yes, he's our boss in this world. We are in San Francisco. Let me see if I can see if it's day or night. I think it is night. Yeah, here's a tip about San Francisco. Uh, after the story, uh, daytime, the Heartless will not appear. However, the night, well, Heartless definitely appear. So uh, keep that in uh, mind. So I think I did was I swapped to uh, Thunder at this point. Now over there is a map of the uh, city. I'm going to try to do is get to it. Uh, I'm trying to clear everything out and let's see what's inside. And here's free map to San Francisco. Woohoo! Yes! We are not really lost. Well, we're still lost, but still. Yeah, it looks like it's daytime. So here's the thing enemies will come in uh, daytime in the story. Not so much here. All the activities are at night. Has to do with uh, combat. Daytime? No. Use it to get collectibles. That's a tip from me. So when we get to this area right here that uh, Hero marked for us nicely. And if you can, uh, use those air vents and take advantage of the uh, aerial attacks like I am. You do some lot of damage, especially with the uh, uh, Pirates of Caribbean uh, Wheel of Fate Keyblade, which is one of the best uh, melee ones. Well, actually the uh, Ultimate Keyblade is the uh, really best one, but still, when we get over here and see what's going on. Oh boy, there are three big heartless. I'm going to test out Ariel right now. I was supposed to test her out in the Pirates of the Caribbean world. However, I've had so much fun in it, I forgot to. Yeah, this is this is alright right there. It's not bad. You need a time to rhythm right. Yeah, this is the uh, Ariel version of uh, Little Mermaid uh, in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Yes! If you play Kingdom Hearts 2, well, it was more of a musical thing. Instead of a real world. Well, it was a world, but it was more of a musical thing. So, yeah, we're just doing more musical thing. The war area effect is pretty uh, decent. Her uh, jumping, not so much. I would not use her again, though. Yeah, there are better uh, links out there. Just trust me. And I'll say for record, uh, Wreck-It Ralph is still the best. All right, we're going to clear these Heartless off the roof. And we're going to use our uh, high wind, magic, anything we can get super el cheapo on. Yeah, we're going to get super cheap on this, folks. And we already gained a level, level 50. That is nice. Almost halfway to 99. However, I think uh, we're close to beating this uh, game here. We won't uh, get to 99, so there must be uh, post-game content. All right, just kill these guys off a few more, and this should do it right here. And the last one's there, and there you go. Donald and Goofy has gained some new uh, goodies. So let's see what's going on, shall we? Welcome to the giant T-Rex-like Heartless. And I just activated uh, Baymax's uh, super. Now this is where you get to shoot Emnes. It took me a while to get used to. It's all right if you want to do uh, that. His uh, strike move is actually pretty good if you could land it. But it is a lot dangerous than the uh, range one. So 
Now I'm going to try to do is uh, quickly use his special to take out his armor. Yeah, that was crap. Absolutely crap. And watch out for fire because you could get burned up real quick. Yeah, just gotta watch out for that. Now there'll be certain stages. Object is to get him on the roof. And then we have to fight him again on the roof. Yeah, so that's the object. You need to take out his armor though. So I'm gonna try to use arrow, see if that works. Yeah, I don't think that works. Yeah, note to self, uh, switch out arrow and put in thunder. That will uh, do better. Now, if not, then you could go with, I say, probably blizzard or water. Those two are, I think, strong against uh, this uh, T-Rex of a uh, giant heartless. Let me use the Pirates of the uh, Caribbean uh, shock lock. Hmm, that's not bad at all. So we uh, got rid of his armor there. Good. Now at this phase, you're going to have to take out the puff-like cloud thingy. I don't know what that is, but take out the cloud. And then once that's over, uh, take out the volcano he's spewing. Yeah, and if you're in trouble, well, guess what? Uh, wait till you get your uh, Kira going and try to climb up there. So once you get up there, we're going to beat uh, down uh, this volcano part of the uh, Heartless. And there you have it. Now he has moved to a safer location. That's where we need to uh, go. Yeah, they unfortunately didn't do a good job of putting uh, waypoints there. Yeah, Hero's been slacking, folks. Seriously. Well, there's a waypoint. Thanks a lot, Hero, you slacker. All right, it's time to climb this uh, building here, yes. Well, I'll run it. Watch out, Emily's shooting at you. And watch out for those uh, Thunder uh, Mage Heartless shooting lightning inside the building. Yeah, you can get hit by those. You've seen that when you uh, climb up there first 10 seconds, there's more of those. I'm going to try to build up my uh, character's uh, bar some more. Yeah, Vi's building that up some more, so this way you have two at least to start this uh, part of the fight. And use your air step. There you go. I'm going to try to get to that cloud thing right there. And try not to use thunder. It's totally useless against the thunder mage heartless. Try to climb up there. I'm going to try to do Trinity, see if that does... Oh, all right, it didn't do uh, bad at all. Did uh, damage the boss a little bit, so hit this uh, tail right here. That looks like a mage at the end of it. Yeah, I'm starting to think it's a T-Rex Chimera. Well, almost. It needs a goat's head and a snake tail. Well, we're still going to call it a T-Rex Giant Heartless, but still aim right there. And we're almost down to the last and final bar. There you go. All right, just a few more uh, key hits at this point, and we got this. So keep on climbing, because you're still going to get knocked off with the combo. So keep on nailing him some more. And there you go, Fire Gaia has been learned. Yes, a new fire spell. Woohoo! So let's see what's going on with Big Hero 6 and gang.
Well, everybody, here's what went down today. We got introduced to San Francisco, the Big Hero 6 gang. Uh, did some uh, course running like crazy. Destroy some Heartless and face a giant T-Rex uh, Heartless. Well, that's it for today's video. Now, in our next video, we're going to finish off San Francisco World. This is uh, Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everyone.